Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge that many developers encounter when working with Flutter. Our viewer asks, how can we show a refresh indicator initially while waiting for data from a backend API? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue of showing the refresh indicator while waiting for data from the backend API, we need to understand the life cycle of Flutter widgets. In our case, the refresh indicator's current state is null during init state, which means we cannot call show at that point. Instead, we should wait until the widget is fully built. A good solution is to use the post frame callback. This allows us to execute code after the widget has been built. We can call show on the refresh indicator here. Here's how you can implement it. In the init state method, add the following code to show the refresh indicator after the first frame is rendered. With this change, the refresh indicator will be displayed while the data is loading, providing a better user experience. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To show a refresh indicator initially while waiting for data from a backend API, the user faced a race condition issue. They implemented a solution using future delayed in the init state method, which effectively triggered the refresh indicator. The user notes that calling the show method directly in the load items function would trigger it twice. To avoid this, they moved the show call to init state, ensuring it only runs once. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To show a refresh indicator initially while waiting for data from a backend API, you can use the declarative refresh indicator package. This package allows the indicator to be displayed without triggering a refresh callback, making it easier to manage data loading. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To show a refresh indicator initially while waiting for data from a backend API, this user recommends using a custom scroll view. They suggest adding a sliver to box adapter with an animated container that checks if data is loading. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.